market forces tend to be a lot more reliant on consistency in cycles and principle of mean reversion than anything else that might be used to reconcile direction. The point here is that if the cycle dictates a market is stretched and needs to unwind from stretch levels, whatever fundamental driver there is that one might be able to hang on to that would accommodate such an unwinding will be the driver that rings the loudest. We bring this up today specifically in the aftermath of the latest U.S. midterm election result, which saw the Democrats gaining control of the House. There has been an initial reaction which has seen the stock market responding favorably to this result, presumably on an expectation that this will put the brakes on the administration's populist ambitions and welcome a de-escalation of trade war tension. But where are we at in the cycle, and does this hold up enough to carry the market right back to record highs? Perhaps, but we think the market will have a tough time doing so given where we're at in the cycle. So, so where are we? Right now, we're at a point in the cycle where monetary policy normalization has been ramping up in the United States and kicking into gear in many other economies around the globe. We're at a point in the cycle where the stock market has extended its record run right up into recent weeks, a run that started a decade ago and a run that hasn't spent a whole lot of time looking back. What this means is rates in the U.S. have risen back now to levels where the normalization of policy is finally being felt, forcing investors to reconsider strategies that make it much harder to justify valuations. With the market as extended as it is and with those rates pushing back up, it becomes quite easy to look at where we're at in the cycle and make the argument for a pullback as policy moves in a more restrictive direction. With the market as stretched as it is, this certainly feels like it could be the more compelling fundamental driver, one that overshadows expectations of higher stocks on optimism around an election result that could easily paint a much less optimistic outcome picture on the back of increased tension and a whole lot of gridlock as the global economy tries to figure everything out and gridlock that the global economy and the U.S. economy cannot afford. And so we think the focus should be a whole lot less about the election and what impact it might have looking out and a whole lot more about exactly where we're at in the cycle and how whatever the outcome was going to be from the midterms, it wasn't going to do anything to change the fact that we're at this point where the outlook for the equity market is less encouraging with the greater risk for a more sizable pullback in the months ahead as those fundamental drivers for lower stocks ring louder given where we're at in the cycle. That's all for now.